You are watching, Sadiq Solitude. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, this is Sadiq and you are watching Sadiq Solitude. I draw and talk about stuff. If this interests you, be sure to check out our other videos, subscribe and stay on the loop. Today we are drawing Amber Benson as Tara McClay, from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. You can follow along, draw your own and tag me on social media. You can buy me a coffee, and financially support the channel. Link is in the description box. There's other ways to support the channel, a thumbs up would be great and it's free. Let me know who or what you want me to draw next. Watch till the end to know more. Now enjoy the drawing process. Remember the shy young woman with magical talents, Tara McClay from Buffy the Vampire Slayer? That's Amber Benson. An actress who's carved a path beyond Tara's magical talents. Benson was born in Birmingham, Alabama, the daughter of Diane and Edward Benson, a psychiatrist. Benson was 14 when she made her feature film debut in the Steven Soderbergh film King of the Hill. She is best known for her role as Tara McClay on the TV series Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and has also directed, produced and starred in her own films Chance and Lovers, Liars and Lunatics. She also starred in the movie Kiss the Bride. She co-directed the film Drones with fellow Buffy cast member Adam Bush. Benson also starred as a waitress in the horror movie The Killing Jar. With new projects in the works, Amber Benson continues to surprise and entertain audiences, solidifying her place as a force in the entertainment industry.
Benson was 14 when she made her feature film debut in the Steven Soderbergh film King of the Hill. Benson is best known for her recurring role as Tara McClay on the television series Buffy the Vampire Slayer. The character first appeared in the season 4 episode Hush and soon became the girlfriend of Willow Rosenberg, Allison Hannigan. Benson remained with the series until season 6 when her character was killed off. In her final episode, Benson was credited for the only time as a regular cast member. Benson sang in the Buffy the Vampire Slayer musical episode, Once More, with Feeling. She provided vocals for the songs, I've Got a Theory Slash Bunny Slash If We're Together, Under Your Spell, Her Solo, Walk Through the Fire, Standing Slash Under Your Spell, Reprise, and Where Do We Go From Here? In 2002, she performed two songs on Buffy colleague Anthony Stewart Head's album Music for Elevators. She also sang Too Cha Too Cha Touch Me, aka Creature of the Night, at VH1 Celebrity Karaoke Tribute to the Rocky Horror Picture Show. While still working on Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Benson co-wrote the movie The Theory of the Leisure Class with director Gabriel Bologna, released in 2001, and directed, produced, edited, and acted in a digital video feature called Chance, 2002, which also featured her Buffy co-star James Marsters. She also collaborated with director James Kerwin in 2003 to produce her play Albert Hall in Hollywood. In 2001, Benson worked with Golden, Terry Moore, and Eric Powell of Dark Horse Comics to create the Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Willow and Tara comic book titled Wanna Blessed Be. The following year, 2002, she worked with Christopher Golden and A.J. Ajit Jothakamar of Dark Horse Comics to create the Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Willow and Tara comic books titled Wilderness No. 1 and Wilderness No. 2. Benson at a Buffy the Vampire Slayer rap party in 2003. Benson and Christopher Golden produced and began a series of animated fantasy films for the BBC with the animation studio Cosgrove Hall. Ghosts of Albion, Legacy, 2003, and its sequels are available on the BBC Cult website. Benson and Golden have also collaborated on two supernatural thrillers, Ghosts of Albion, Accursed and Ghosts of Albion, Witchery. These books follow the fortunes of Tamara and William Swift, who first appeared in the BBC computer animated web movie Ghosts of Albion, Legacy. In 2003, she had a supporting role in Latter Days as Tracy Levine, alongside Steve Sandvoss and Wes Ramsey. In 2005, Benson collaborated with artist Jamie McElvey on a short story within the Image Comics collection for Letter Worlds. In 2006, Benson collaborated with artist Ben Templesmith on Demon Father John's Pinwheel Blues published by IDW as a four-part split book, Shadowplay, with work by Ashley Wood and Christina Z. Benson and novelist Anton Strout during an appearance at the Midtown Comics downtown in Manhattan on March 5, 2011. In 2006, Benson released her second independent feature film Lovers, Liars and Lunatics through her own production company, Benson Entertainment. The film was shot on film and was partly financed by the sale of limited edition, Triangle, Tara Buffyverse action figure. The project, initially called The Dirty Script, was ultimately titled Lovers, Liars and Lunatics by producer Diane Benson, Amber's mother. In 2006, Benson also portrayed the vegetarian vampirist Lenore on the TV series Supernatural. In December 2006, Benson and Golden released yet another collaboration, the short novel The Seven Whistlers which is distributed through Subterranean Press in a limited number of signed copies. In September 2007, Benson signed a three-book deal with Ginger Buchanan of Penguin Books. Death's Daughter was released by Ace Books on February 24, 2009, Cat's Claw, 13, on February 23, 2010, and Serpent Storm, in February 2011. On February 28, 2012, the fourth book in the series, How to Be Death was released. Benson is the co-director with Adam Bush of the 2010 comedy film Drones. In 2012, Benson played a young Judith Collins in the Dark Shadows audio drama, Dress Me in Dark Dreams. 
She guest starred in the second season of the Jane Espenson scripted romantic comedy web series, Husbands. In June 2013, it was announced that Benson has been attached to star in the web TV series adaptation of the Morganville Vampires as Amelie, the founder of Morganville. Benson narrated the 2014 audiobook Lock In by John Scalzi. In October 2014, she published her fantasy book The Witches of Echo Park. Benson wrote, directed, and provided her voice to Slayers, a Buffyverse story alongside her former Buffy co-stars James Marsters, Charisma Carpenter, Anthony Head, Juliet Landau, Emma Caulfield Ford, James Charles Leary and Danny Strong. The Audible exclusive, written with Christopher Golden, was released in October 2023. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and share. Until next time, take care, and do good.